What's good with the YouTube man? It's your boy Rojo. This is the Rojo room, man. How y'all doing today? It's Friday. Good love. Hopefully everybody out there is doing good, man. Today, what I'm gonna talk about is uh the white boys. My experience with the Coco County Woods, as well as the Aryan Brotherhood. Now, I came from Juvenile Hall in Contra Costa County straight to the county jail. The day I turned 18, I took the bus. And it got me uh, got me to Martinez, went to this place called The Farm. It's out in Clayton, little last minimum security. You know, I got no points, no county history, no big deal. Bear in mind, the Contra Costa County white boys are extremely aggressive at this time. They're not, they don't like Northerners, they don't like Blacks. And they sure don't like people they consider white to be associating with them in any form or fashion. Now, uh, I get to the farm, man, you know, there's there's like five homeboys there, I'm chilling. And the white boys are all funny, you know what I mean? They're always looking and whispering and you get to the point where you get tired of it, you know what I mean? So <laughs> one day this dude tells me something about like race trader kicking it with the busters or something. And I'm like, well, what's up? You want to, you want to handle something real quick? And uh, he didn't want to, but other white boys heard me ask him. So he was like, well, yeah, let's do it then. And I was like, man, I'm about to tear this dude up. Right. So we had a homeboy who was friends with this other black dude from Pittsburgh. Right. And uh, he used to sing and man, the, the, the deputies, would want him to sing and shit like that. So we, we get with him, we're like, hey, walk by the deputy's little office because they stayed in a little office, bro. They never even really came out too often. And I'd be like, hey, go over there and, and, and sing one to him because the dude can sing, bro. So <laughs> we have him go over there to distract the cops. And me and this dude, they called him Clark Kent. He's a white boy. He wanted to uh, run that fade. And so I'm like, well, what's up, man? Let's, let's meet over in the hallway right now. We got distraction. We got all that. So we go over there, man, this dude can't fight at all. I, I annihilate him, man. I don't have knockout power. You know what I mean? I'm pretty light in the ass still, but I dried his ass out, right? That was the first little thing. We didn't get caught. Um, everybody went their separate ways. White boys kind of left me alone. Well, being that this is kind of like a, a honor farm, basically, you know, I used to get in trouble smoking, you know what I mean? And one day, they roll around the building. This is like one of the last times I ever smoked weed. Um, they roll up on us right when we finish a, uh, a fat ass bammer joint and a, a skinnier bomb, straight chronic joint, right? And I'm trash, man. They're like, where's the tobacco at? They, they figure we're smoking. I'm like, I don't got no tobacco. And they're looking at me, they're like, oh, he's high. I was high as shit, bro. And I ain't gonna lie. They take me into the light to look at me and all I could do was giggle. You know what I mean? Because I was so high, bro. And they're like, you're out of here. They wrote me up. I went back to the main jail. When I go to the main jail, they put me on C module. And there's all kinds of uh, all kinds of woods. My bad, I had to shut the dogs up. So there's all kinds of woods, right? Well, I had taken back hella tobacco. It's kind of hard to get tobacco in the main jail. I mean, not impossible because back then you used to have contact visits. If you were good for like a month, your family could come see you like in the attorney visiting room you know what i mean and they they'd lightweight be on you but you know we throw distractions have people act up on purpose so the deputies would go away from the visiting room or whatnot you know um so they could get tobacco but it's still not easy so i show up with a grip of tobacco you know i know all the the homeboys you know there's only one in the module but uh and he, he was a nerd and uh i know all the brothers and shit so i slide in there the white boys were like, hey, did you bring nothing? <laughs> and I'm like, nah, man. You know what I mean? If I date, it ain't for you anyway. So, uh, you know, they're they're keeping an eye out. And they see me slanging cigarettes to the blacks. And you know what I mean? The, the others that are in there. And uh, they try to send some youngster to come tell me that the, the woods want their issue. And I'm like, well, you know, it's, they're three items. You know, cigarettes at the time were three items. Soup, candy bar you know, whatever, honey bun, whatever the case might be. It's three items, straight up. I don't care who you are. You know, I'll share with the homies, you know what I mean? And I'll give some to somebody that I know, like from the streets or something, like I'll lace them. But other than that, 
costs money, bro. And so he goes back and, and tells them they're all, all the main woods are over there sitting watching and they're just like, damn, he's, he's selling tobacco to the blacks, but we can't get none. I guess they have me confused with somebody else, right? So a couple of days go by and uh, they try to be more aggressive. They're like, hey, if you don't, if you don't give us some tobacco, you got to roll it up. I'm like, well, I ain't giving you no tobacco, three items. And I'm not rolling up shit. So a couple hours go by. I'm in my I'm in my cell, you know, uh, brushing my teeth and washing my face and shit. They send this little dude from Antioch to uh, to try to bum rush me while I wasn't paying attention. I seen him out of the corner of my eye, tried to delve in me, and he barely caught me. And what he had was a long thumbnail, so it kind of cut me a little bit, like right here or something, because because I ducked the punch and the thumbnail caught me. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I commenced to whooping his ass. You know, we uh we ended up in the one of the day rooms, which was the black people's TV. And I'm just beating the like he's got his face down, and I'm just whack, 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 I'm just tearing him up. They come and they're they got pepper spray like right here. The cops walk up on us because I end up I'm sitting down on the couch and he's like standing, but with his face like right here, and I'm just I'm destroying him. And uh, they got the pepper spray right here, so I just like spread my hands, and uh, they snatched him up, and uh. You know, I go roll up my shit. They take me right to my cell. Go roll up my shit. And go into the hole. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Allergies. I pass by the white boys. They're all sitting there smiling. I'm like, next time you better send, send two. Because this ain't going to work out for you. They were hella mad. They hated me. So I go to another module. I think they shoot me to A. A module. And, uh. White boys don't like me, but there's like four or five homies there, so it was good. They didn't say nothing. I still had tobacco. But um, every couple months, man, there'd be something where it would be me and some white white dudes trying to test me. And it never worked out for them, not once. You know what I mean? And I'm not being arrogant. It's just the truth. So I, go, I end up going to prison and whatnot, earn my little status. And uh, I come back to the county. Now, I've done prison time with some of these white boys now, and they know that, you know, I'm a well-respected individual within my people. So their attitude slightly changed. You know, I know they hated me still, but at the same time, they weren't trying to mess around because if, if they sent somebody after me, it could cause a wreck in every institution. And believe me, I ought to played it up to the fullest because I don't like them dudes straight up. <clears throat> And it's not, I don't like them because of their politics. I don't agree with their politics, but that's their politics. It's just that, uh, you know, they, <laughs> they, they, they tried to fuck with me when I don't fuck with nobody. So automatically right there, you know, hey, we've established how we're gonna deal with each other and let's do it. Fast forward to uh, like 96, 97. I don't remember when it was, probably 96. I mean, Q module, I get in trouble for something. I think I got called with the lighter. They sent me to Q module for a week. In Q module, some dude comes in and uh, got a big ass shamrock on him. And he just looks the role. He looks different from the Cocoa County woods, but you could tell he's he's somebody, you know what I mean? So uh, I, I go over there, I'm, I'm talking to him like, hey, what's up, man? I'm, I'm Rojo, whatever. And he's like, hey, Bobby Cole. And I'm like, well, pleasure to meet you, bro. How you doing? Need anything, let me know. No, because I, I was cool with everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, until you're not cool with me, I'm, I'm, me and you are fine. And he's like, uh, I appreciate it, man. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Well, a couple of days go by, and he's uh, he's very upfront about what he is. And he's like, look, I'm in the Aryan Brotherhood, and doop de doop de doop And I'm like, oh, shit. I'm thinking, man, should I fight him right now in my head? And I'm like, no, nah, he's been cool. Um, he's not bothering nobody. He's not a, he was pretty tore up on dope at the time. He was skinny. And I didn't really know if I should just fight him or not. So I let him be. And we started talking every day. We go out, um, we we come out of our rooms at the same time, me, him, uh, another homeboy, uh, Silas Macias from Pittsburgh. Um, and a couple other woods, we get our free time together. And uh I started chopping it up with him, man. He turned out to be a good dude, man. He's like, uh, I know you're, 
I know you're important and your people. I like, I didn't tell him my status, but he's not no idiot because he'd see the traffic come into my cell. He knew I was in charge. I'm, I doubt he would have guessed I was NF just because of my age and my complexion, but uh, he might have, you know, he, he could have probably done his research and found out. Anyway, fucking, he starts offering me all kinds of connections. He's like, man, you know, me and you could work together and accomplish a lot of things on the streets and keep, uh, you know, our res respective groups from having problems all the time. Because the thing with the, the Coco County woods is on the streets, they're cool as shit. They'll, they'll chill with the homies. Some of them will chill with the brothers. You know what I mean? It depends on their age and where they're from and stuff like that. But they're a whole different animal inside of jail because of politics. They have to be. You know, I, I see the white boys that come in off the streets. On the streets, they got a 5.0. You know, they got beat. You know, they're bumping, you know, the latest hip hop. You know what I mean? Rap. You see them in jail. They're bumping country and wearing some tight ass pants chewing tobacco and shit right so it's the way they are and especially in the early 90s i don't knock them because they they, they fuck you up in the early 90s in coco county woods if you weren't with the program they'll beat you down and send you out you know what i mean so i get it but uh anyway this dude bobby cole man robert cole from pittsburgh i think he's i think he's passed away now i'm not 100 percent. that's what i heard you know um he was a good dude, bro. He, he learned me a little bit about their get down, you know what I mean? And how the organization on the streets was suffering for them at the time. You know what I mean? Everybody was on drugs, including him, you know, but he had a, he had a brilliant mind, you know what I'm saying? He was a good dude. And, um, you know, he basically spread the word in the jail as well that I was completely off limits and anybody violating that would be violating their homies, you know what I mean? Because he wanted to keep the peace. You know, there was, man, there was a lot of drug flow through Martinez back at the times because of those contact visits. You know, they ended up getting rid of them because the white boys got some heroin and a couple of people OD'd, one of them dying right there in the module. So then they shut that shit down. Bro, I've been in there when the white boys hit on some crank, you know, and they're, they're not hitting an eight ball, they're hitting ounces. Bro, the whole module, bro, would be four in the morning, microwaving shit, you know, running them up. And cops are just like, what the fuck? They knew. They, they knew people hit, but it's like, what are you going to do? You know, they'd search the cells, whoop de whoop Man, come on, man. You know, they, they got that shit in the hoop. But the whole module, every white boy, four in the morning, be sparked. You know, and they used, to, they used to have a lot of bunks and people would just be doing whatever they wanted, man. So they shut that down, but, you know, it could it could have got to the point where, okay, well, I would, if you guys want to play, what I'll do is I'll see which one of your guys is hitting and I'll have him rushed. You know what I mean? Like, we'll, we'll, we'll stop your we'll stop your whole get down. You know what I mean? So he, he was trying to keep it cool. And, and that was the, the only working relationship that I really ever had with the AB member. And that's just because that dude's get down, the way he approached me and his sincerity, bro. He was being real. He wanted to work and, you know, coexist and, and everybody makes money. And I respect that. You know, that's the that's the goal. But man, them, 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 I never had problems with the Southsiders like I did with the white boys, man. And, you know, I come from their one of their hottest areas, Cocoa County, you know, much respect to the Coco County Woods. They've been holding it down for years. They're not soft. You know what I mean? They're fairly well organized. You know what I mean? They used to have the county jail sewed up. That was the white boys jail in the early 90s. There was no doubt about it. You know what I'm saying? Just because they were organized and disciplined and they would make their youngsters handle their business for them, you know? But uh, yeah, I, I haven't had much interactions, man. I, I've, I've had to do, you know, a couple orders against them people to have some of their soldiers touched up over the years on mass scales. And uh, it's, it's, it's all reaction. It's all reactionary. I've never had to initiate any problems with them. It's only been responses from mistakes they've made. And the responses were, were very, very swift and, and devastating to the point where, you know, word was coming back. Hey, can 
we talk, you know what I mean? But shouts out to the woods. You know, they, they, they handle their business. They check paperwork. They're, they're not scary. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, although I had a lot of negative interactions with them in my teens, it was the politics at the time. And I don't take it personally. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, I gained their respect real fast as every challenge that they tried to throw at me when there was no homeboys to back my play, I met fully head on. You know what I'm saying? And over the years, we just agreed to mind our own business pretty much, you know, and that's the way it should be, man. Everybody can coexist by just, man, minding your own damn business. But prison's a dangerous place. You know, I didn't really, you know, in Susanville, they used to look at me funny and I'd just be like, that's something you want to say to me? You know what I mean? Like, if you want to talk, there's there's a lot of cells we could go talk in. And they would just continue about their route because there's a hundred and some homeboys on the yard. They didn't want they didn't want that smoke. But you know, other times Susanville, there's been really, really light homeboys and the woods are always deep there. But uh you know, it's, I, I just got tired of them essentially trying to put their politics on me. Like, man, I'm not one of you. You know what I mean? You can expect your little youngsters, hey, brother, to do that shit, but I'm not you. And I'm not, you're not, just because there's one of me and a bunch of you, you're not going to make me do nothing. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna, you're, you're, you could try, but even if you win, I'm still going to do the same thing I do. But uh, anyway, no love lost. Shout out to the Coco County Woods. Shout out to the AV. I mean, that dude was cool as hell, bro. That that dude was a real gangster, bro. And uh, hope you all have a good day, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's kind of short. Just a little bit about my personal life. Take it easy. Have a great weekend.